Today we'll be covering the setup of a wet collector series dust collector by MicroAir. As you can see, we have first powered up the unit. There's no water in the sump. Our first step is to review the high, low, and alarm set points and make sure they are to factory set points. To do so, we will push the SPAL button. It will bring up 2.25 SP1L. This varies by model. Check your owner's manual to see what yours should be. We may arrow up or down to get to our SP alarm high and our SP1H, which would be our high set point. To exit this menu, press the menu and it will display actual static pressure. In order to begin filling the sump, you have two options. The first of which is to manually fill the sump to eight inches. The second would be to go ahead and turn the unit on and allow it to autofill. We will use the autofill method for this demonstration. In order to achieve this, make sure your water flow is on and that you have something to add static pressure to the system while the unit is filling or else the motor could trip out and overload. From the time you hit the start button, there will be a 30 second delay before the valve will start filling. This gives the unit time for the auto damper to shut and it to reach an equilibrium of static pressure. We'll now hit stop and confirm that our water level has reached the minimum. What we are looking for is the sump to be approximately one to two inches below our target value while it's running. For instance, in this example, we are aiming for a low sump level of eight inches, so we will stop the collector and check our sump level at six to eight or six to seven inches. We are currently at 10 inches. We have overfilled, but have reached our objective. We will now shut off the, the water to supply to the unit, allow it to run to a stabilized environment and check for our SP1L or low set point. Once we have it set, we will hit the E or enter key and it is now locked in. We will now set our SP1L at a half inch of static pressure above our low set point. In this case, it will be 1.7. We will now start the collector again. The SP1 light is illuminated and it should stay illuminated until we reach our high set point of 1.70. Remember that we do have a 30 second delay before it will call for water. Once it calls for water it will increase in pressure until it reaches that level and then turn off the fill valve as well as the SP1 light. and it 
at this point you need to check your sump level in the off position for your high ensuring that you are approximately one to two inches above the low sump value of eight inches in the case that you need more suction you will run the collectors in the eight to nine inch range for lower airflow and higher efficiencies you would run the collector in the 10 to 12 inch range these are static sumps with the motor turned off